He got hit twice late. Maybe losing the microphone early was a good thing. I'm not sure. <laughs> he ended up with the Stafford brothers, and I assume now he heads home. <laughs> So how does the doubles play out? Well, Who's I, going to be the better combination? Kyrgios and Hewitt. Australia's favourite together. Now. Australia's favourite for the doubles, I think. I mean, but in this format, the fast four format, anything can happen. You need a good start. Uh, otherwise, the set can be over very quickly. But you've got Leighton Hewitt, a great doubles player, yeah. and a young gun like Kyrgios that can also play. OK, guys. Hey, 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 hey. OK, guys, by now we know the rules. Just a reminder that both captains still have one power play per set. Any questions? Nope. Heads or tails? Heads is a call. Heads it is. Serving. And guys, we'll come in for a photo. Nope. Guys, we're going to come in for a photo. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, not to say you don't enjoy yourself, but, you know... Leighton rank for you, Fitzy, from a doubles perspective as a player? Well, I, you know, he, he won a US Open title at the very beginning of his career, and uh, he's hardly played any major since in doubles. Uh, look, very, very confident doubles player. Understands all the skills. A uh, great feel of the net. Probably a bit similar to singles, where some guys can overpower you in the doubles court, but he is very confident and... Uh, Clever doubles player, no doubt. He returns really well. That's his major strength. But a great bowler as well. It's a pretty good scene. 11,000 here at All Phones Arena. And it is Australia and the world locked at one apiece. I would think Fitzy on form, two upsets. So Nick Kyrgios, who he thought was in the sort of form where he'd be able to take care of Gail Monfi, who was absent from the Hopman Cup, nursing a groin injury, got beaten in straight. And then Leighton, somehow able to find a way over Rafa, levelling things up at one apiece. Coming to the doubles, the live rubber, who do you fancy? Well, I fancy the Aussies here, because I think uh, Leighton uh, is a very underrated doubles player. He played Davis Cup for years, clutch matches, and he knows how to play doubles and win. Uh, fabulous returner of serve. He's a wily customer and uh, his volleying is exceptional. Part of this is that these players haven't played much doubles together, so that can always work against a team. And I think that will be more evident probably with the world team. That's what my guess would be. What do you like most about the fast four format? That it's quick. And then one you can minute, play matches in a shorter time serves. frame. So if you go down to the local club, Hamish, on an, on an evening during the week, and you've got time constraints, hey, you know you're going to be out of there in an hour. So from a, from a top-level yeah, perspective, yeah. let's leave it out of the majors, but what would you like to see from what we've seen tonight? What do you think adds what tennis perhaps is searching for, that, yeah. that, that new something? Yeah, I think, I think we have to put this Ladies in a perspective where these are the professionals the playing two, the fast-four concept. Sets. Yep. The huge advantage I see coming for tennis in this country is that we can use Fast 4 at the club level. There's already 100 clubs out there. Look at fast4.com and find the club closest to you. And that's the advantage. It brings more people into tennis. Where will it go in terms of the professional game? I'm unsure. I think there'll always be appropriate circumstances to play it in. And it uh, doesn't necessarily mean it has to replace the traditional game of tennis. And I'm a traditionalist. You know, I, I hope that uh, so much of what our great game has remains, but certainly there is room 
to have a faster Time. format. This is it, and it works. It's a huge crowd and so good that the final rubber is live tonight. I was fearing after the Kyrgios loss that perhaps Rafa might be able to put the evening to bed from a world perspective, but you fancy the Aussies. Any difference in the scoring system from a doubles perspective? that we've seen so far for those watching for the first time? Well, I think the scoring system in doubles is the same. They have one power play per team, though, rather than per player. Correct, yes. So all four players don't get a power play on their serve. The captain will have to choose who and who takes it and when. Once per set per team. But all the other rules remain the same. There's, there's no ad scoring, there's no lets. Oh, one other quick thing. On the lets in doubles, either player can play the ball. Either player can actually play the ball. So the guy standing in closer, where Leighton Hewitt is there now, if there's a let Ready? to the first court, he is also able to make that ball. 1-0. Tidy start for Rafa after the straight sets loss to Leighton. I'm still coming to terms with the body forehand ball that Mats Philander asked for. And Rafa delivered to within inches. He said, Jam Leighton on the forehand. Perfect. Wow. This concept can be played anywhere. And as I mentioned, there's 100 clubs already around the country. I mean, you can play it in Melbourne, you can play it in Sydney, you can, you can play it in Moree if you really want to. So there's that forehand from Nadal, it's lethal. He will serve and stay back. 2-1. So you've got to bide your time when you come in and don't give him the big forehand when you're a bit vulnerable at the net. It's a good start here from Nadal, serving well. Monfi there trying to sneak across. Be careful against the Curios forehand. 3-2. So game point, another one for the, the world here. Yeah, and that heavy forehand makes it difficult for a player like Monfi, who doesn't spend a ton of time at the net. So here we have a break point. In fact, a double game point. And the receiving side can choose who receives. <laughs> Paper, rock, scissors to decide. Well, that's another innovation if you want. Australia gets it on the Dallas serve. Well, Fitzy, we're privileged to have a huge international audience tonight. And for those international viewers that haven't seen New South Wales or been to Sydney, we hope you can at some point soon because the harbour, no doubt, you have all heard about, but to see it up close is outstanding. The harbour reach, the Opera House, and all of the beaches, whether it be on the North Shore or at Bondi, it is a, a, a majestic city, and New South Wales as a state is quite remarkable. Whether you yeah. have a surf at Byron or yeah, no. go for a snow ski, any time of the year is a good place to come. Yeah, Sydney is almost unparalleled. What great uh, views they were. One zero. So the Aussies in the box seat here early. Sorry. Two zero. So there's that let play, which we've seen now for the first time. Skip back in and behind Monfi. Uh, 
unusual bowling error from Leighton Hewitt. Just overran that ball a little bit. Just bit off one. balance. Too quick. So he had some options there, Leighton Hewitt. He, he could have Too gone old. back down the line with his final volley. Rafa starting to move forward. Moves forward here, and he went the wrong way. He tried to angle it past Rafa. Dangerous. It's a game point now on the Kyrgios serve. Three, trying to consolidate the break on the Dadal serve. Australia two love. Australia lead by two games to love. So they'll have a chance, I think, to break every game here against the world team. There'll be some serving and staying back on that side of the net. Oh, wow. Play that left. And that was a let. That's one of the first ones we've seen tonight where the ball tipped the one net. 1-0. In traditional tennis, that's a let. There'd be a replay of the first serve, but in this format, you play the ball. Two is zero. When you watch Nick Kyrgios play, it's amazing how much power he can generate seemingly so effortlessly. Yeah, it's timing. It's a rare talent. So Monfils here making Three a bit of a zero. statement of his own. So four game points on his serve here. It's game the world. So love hold. 2-1 Australia. Australia lead by two games to one. Did he teach you that? Yeah? Unbelievable. So different there. Such a good doubles player. Why do you think you didn't play as much? Do you, you think you can you can actually play doubles and singles on the two of these days? The big ones? Yeah. Like when I first started out, when you're young, you can probably get by. But I think, you know, it does take a lot out of you. Especially just trying to have your day off and freshen up a bit too, you know? Yeah. See, right. see my day in... Uh... Should Leighton play on part? There you go. <laughs> There you go. People want you, mate. They want you. So, why are you about? Tired? See, back in our day, yeah, yeah. Back in our day, we had to um, had to make it for a living. Sit, play singles and doubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time. Uh, All right, guys. Interesting. Late when asked by Pat Cash, can you on the tour now play both the singles and the doubles? And Late said it's just too hard, particularly as you get older. You need the day off to get your body right to then compete again from a singles perspective. And Cassie was saying, when we played, we just had to to make a living. Yeah, a lot of logic there in, uh, in both comments. One and zero. You can see Leighton here doesn't possess the big bomb on the serve, but he's wily. He goes at the body, sets up an easy volley for his partner. One 
two. Close to an ace, Fitzy. Yes. But also a double fault. Yeah, exactly. If that ball had hit the tape and gone over, about short, it probably would have been a winning point. Oh, Monfils, exceptional. Sweet cheeks on that one. Really used the court well, got the ball one back, three. and made Hewitt play some tough volleys in great direction down the middle. So three break points here for Nadal and Monfils. 3-1, sounds odd, good. Given it's going to be three all, but that still remains a break point. Huge angle into the racket bag. Two three. I'd call that run Ladies and gentlemen, Australia is calling for the double points power play. Good move. Thirty Good seconds. Move on, Captain Cash. Good work in the net. All right, where do you Swing want to serve? Tea. Where do you want to serve? Swing it, T. What do you want to go? Go body or cross? Body cross first, sir. You got T. Yeah, yeah. Slap the body back in. Yeah. Well, just. Body anyway. Okay. Jam him up. Yeah. You can't take the swing. Long arms. Okay, body back in. I'll just, I'll just go. Yeah, he goes to line the base. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve, I think just body as well. Yeah. Back in. Try and cramp him. He can fight. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Fascinating to get the insight from the players yeah. as they play. Well, that happens so many times between points, particularly in a doubles match. They need to be. They need to know what their partner's going to do. So expect the body serve here. He said, I'll do the same again on the second. Oh, you're kidding yeah. me. Yeah, Australia. Cash, you called it. Jam him up. <laughs> Kyrgios has got the long reach. He'll take care of things, as per captain's instruction. Australia lead by three games to one. <laughs> well, you don't see better than that. I mean, can you believe he took that risk on the big point? Incredible angle. It was verbatim. <laughs> it was verbatim. Body serve. Yeah. Kyrgios with the long reach will take care of it. Oh. And Mats Valander there couldn't One believe zero. what he saw. So the Aussies in the box seat here in the first set in the vital doubles match. 3 1, first to four. Game here for Rafa. Well, that's how difficult Three it is one. to take the speed off that ball and drop it uh, short, just as we saw from Nick Kyrgios in that previous game. Not easy when the ball's coming at that speed. Uh, good tennis from the Aussies. Created there. The angle was created by Kyrgios. It made Rafa defend. He had to hit up. And Leighton Hewitt, with his innate knowledge of the tennis court, just sneaks in here, gets in closer so he can take this ball out of the air. Quick hands from all involved, but a the hold. The Aussies will come out and serve for the first set. Well done, boys. Australia lead by three games to two. Well done. All right, big man. You want to? Um, what do you do here in the first first point? You want to get the first point? You go your favourite yeah. serve. What do you go? What do you, uh, what I'm, do you I'm, like? I'm, I'm probably going to go slide away. Even if you make some mistakes, then Russ is the man. So you want to get you want to get wrapped around wide. Going for a wide one. All right. Rusty all over the net. Close, close to the net. Well, he's going to go wide. Yeah, he, no, he, 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 he doesn't want to put it down the line. So you want to, you want to sit back a fraction of energy, otherwise you can chip the lob if you get a good serve. That's all right. Let him, mate. Let on him, your toes. Let him chip. It's hard, to, it's hard to lob off your serve, so... 
Good stuff. Hold on, mate. So all of that, Hamish, was about okay. emphasising how important the first point is when they're serving for a set. Time. Important one. And in this Zero format, one. if you if you are serving and lose the first point, it gets ugly very quickly. It gets very nervy. Oh, nearly a perfect lob through the legs. But now there's trouble for the Aussies. As you said, it can get late early, can't it, in a game of fast four. Suddenly you're down love 30 and you in real strife as opposed to having the advantage option getting back to juices. One, two. Okay, so with this serve though, even in this position, you might be down, you're still favourite though, because of the, the quality of the serve. Oh. A couple of big serves, as you say, Two on cue when required. Make it three. three. Two. So suddenly, two set points. Set points. On serve. Oh, that was probably a late Hewitt volley there. He was a little three -oh. stagnant in his Next point footwork. Next point receiver's choice. That's where you need the net player to try to move and help you. Now all of a sudden, this is a break point and a game point. a set point and the world break back three all and now we play a tiebreaker three games old so an opportunity break. lost there by the aussies huge break for the world team there once it's on that round for forehand you're in trouble if he's short in the court Leighton may, may have lost a bit of speed around the court he was saying but his hands are still lightning quick so nine points in the tie break if it goes the distance, but simply it is first to five. Yeah, and Monfils will serve two points yeah. to start off the breaker. Yeah, I was going for a big serve. <laughs> oh, huge way to start. 219 Ks. He picked it. And interestingly, fits you with the tiebreakers. Whoever serves fastest in the breaker, if it gets to four all, serves the ninth point. So 219 from Monfils to kick things off. Huge, huge. Well, they needed that. That's been his forte for 20 years late. <laughs> what a return of serve. Wow. So with that rule, at four all in the tiebreaker, the fastest serve in the breaker serves the last point. So Monfils is the one who's going to serve the fastest on the world team. Curios is the one that will serve the fastest ball for the Aussies. So 219 has been served already by Monfi in the first ball, the ace. Interestingly, 213 then from Kyrgios. Well, not as fast as Monfi, but to win the point. To win the point. So 2 1. Let's two hope one. he doesn't need Australia. Winning the point to be would be more quick. important there. Yep. Too good, Rafa. He's still got the leg speed. Two old change ends. He's paid a lot of bills over his lifetime with that forehand, hasn't he? That whip around. That, that could be the best understatement I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> it has just won him so many matches. Oh, yeah. Nine it's almost Jay, you remember, Rafa, isn't it? That, that whip. 
down the line. Magnificent. Well, they're in the box seat now. To a change of ends after four points. So now... Now Rafa will serve two points. Two from Rafa. The Aussies really need one of these two. serve only 170 but it's the direction that matters so two set Three, points two. now to the world team first to five ah, excuse me excuse me 3 2 a good a good lead though this this point here would give them three set points ah. Ah. Oh, they've got it so Fitzy as you say some work to do 4-2, the world, if set point. The Aussies can claw themselves back. It is the first to serve to serve the ninth, but two serves to the Aussies. Well, terrific from Leighton on every front. Swinging ball. An outstanding backhand across court. Four three, the world. Good call from Nick there. So now we've got a Four double set point. Next point wins, fastest serve, serve. So this is a scenario we talked about. Monfils at 2.19. And Monfi, yeah, Monfi should serve this. But the Australians can choose who returns. That was the first ball of the breaker, 219 down the middle. Both teams. Oh, oh, great second serve. First set the world. He went for it, and the world claimed the first. Let's go down to Josh Eagle. Well Four done, boys. That's three. good effort. Great serving there under pressure. Happy with that result, surely? <laughs> yeah, very happy. I think uh, Rafa told me to go the hardest I can, and I did. Well, guys, see if you can finish it off. Good luck. It's your second serve at four all in the first. You're either gifting the set or becoming a hero. It takes a little bit of nerve, doesn't it? Well, I figured once he'd missed his first serve, that it's probably even money. But uh, with the first serve in hand, the service should be favourite. Sure. And interesting that the Australians chose to have Nick Kyrgios return the serve when Leighton Hewitt's been one of the greatest returners of all time. Yes. They serve. There's some some things to love about fast four in regard to real excitement, speed, but also when you Time. get to a point at four all and a breaker, when everyone's got a set point, this is completely different to what we've seen. It is. Yeah. Great concept. Yeah. It's innovation for tennis. And you need to keep moving with the times. Time. So it is currently one rubber each after Gail Monfi won the opening rubber of the evening. Leighton upset Rafa Nadal in straight sets. And from an, a strong position, the Aussies have lost the Second first set in a tiebreaker, 5-4. Oh. One zero. So the equation fits is now very simple. The Aussies have got to win the second set and force it into a match tiebreak. Correct. Yeah. 
We saw on the screen just moments ago, the crowd was asked whether Leighton should play on past the Australian Open. 89% said absolutely. I was thinking about some numbers. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> Nick was one year of age when Leighton debuted at the Australian Open. Mm. What were the chances, do you think, of him thinking I'll play double? Before well, he's done. I'm sure he wasn't thinking it when he was born, but... Uh, he was just one. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. Order, isn't it? Turn from Nadal. Okay, he's getting Three. dangerous, and this is a tough spot now for Nick Kyrgios. Break point to the world here. Probably could have taken a power play then. Oh, he gets lucky. So now it's a game point of the Aussies and a break point again. 3 0. Next point here. wins the receiver's choice. The power play is interesting, isn't it? Because you take it, he's won the last two points. He would have been in great shape. It's, it's really knowing when to push the chips in. Yeah. Well, at 30 40, it's the ideal time to take it in this format. Game. He served the ace for the game. Good hold. Let's go down to the first pick. game, second set. Michelle Jenicky, Australian hurdler. So great I bumped into you in the crowd. What do you make of this fast forward? Do you love it? I absolutely love it. This is actually my first tennis game that I've been to and it's just incredible. The crowd's really getting into it and there's so much good atmosphere and the, the player's just amazing. Now, if you're not familiar with Michelle, you will be from this because you are world famous by, what do we call it? Is it the jig? Is it a jig at the start, at the start line? Um, I guess you could call it a jig. I don't really know what to call it, I guess. It's um, your warm-up, isn't it? Yeah. But it's a good warm-up. <laughs> it is just my warm-up, yeah. Are you good at playing tennis or just hurdling? Um, just hurdling. I do enjoy tennis, but it's not one of my strong points. <laughs> now, Rio, obviously just a couple of months away. Are you almost qualified or...? Yeah, so I've actually run a qualifying time already for Rio, which is really nice to have that out of the way, and now I can just focus on running really fast this season. Um, so it's going to depend on how I go at our nationals and Olympic trials later on in the year. Fingers crossed. Best of luck. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you very much. We don't see a lot of doubles, Fitzy. One like zero. To, great doubles is great doubles. Oh, it is. Isn't it? Good skill there on that point. It just accentuates the the obvious. Just giving Nadal his favourite shot that you can hook that Two down zero. the line and draw it back from left to right there with the left-handed spin. It's like shelling peas, that oh, he, Rafa. He doesn't look like missing that. Oh. Well, that's a lot better position to get Nadal into. Especially on the doubles court. If you're drawing forward, he can't rip the top spin. He has to chip the ball. You'd much prefer that uh, matchup. Oh, well, Leighton again. He's done that a couple of times tonight. Why should we be surprised? Two long. Novak and. Andy probably lead the race now in regard to return of serve. Novak's percentages, I think, are leading the tour in regard to breaking on return. Leighton at his best. He was up there. Yeah. Yeah, too good. 
Nadal serving well. Three, two. When you, and in doubles, when you get that first serve down the middle, close to the line, it brings your partner into play, the guy at the net. He can then get the free point a lot easier. Too good. Game the world. So swing ball, it's level at one each in the second. One game on. The best returner you've seen, Fitzy, in oh, your uh, oh, lifetime? I, oh, I think Djokovic. Yeah, Leighton was up there, though. At his best. Oh, a little bit of cat and mouse. Yeah, Nick getting a bit cute there, just taking the speed off the ball, and the leg speed of Nadal is so dangerous. You can't flirt with that Zero too often. One. This one here is what he should have put that away, but he takes the speed off it, and Raf is too quick. So traditional doubles there from Hewitt. Good stuff. And it's his first volley again that sets up the point. One off. Uh, I get the feeling they're like a bit of old school doubles, Hamish. <laughs> well, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Guys probably would have moved forward and taken that ball out of the air, but Nick, Two, one. with his skill, decides to let it bounce, and just angle the forehand. He's happy to go against the status quo. The contrarian. Yeah. Three, one. like a chameleon. Ooh. He's got the power, he's got the touch, but uh, Three, two. it's dangerous to get too cute there. Might be wrong, but it sounded like a let then. Play on. Well, of course, if it is a let in this format, you, you yep. play. You play yep. the ball. To blast his way through the hole to the Aussies. Well, that was so by two games to one. Good serving. No, and when you hit your forehand, you try and hit it as hard as you can. No, not really. The one that I hit the down the line, yeah. Right, 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 yeah. yeah. And you used to hit the serve harder or no? You used to serve harder or no? Try, I mean, try to. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you are going full. At the 219 is full, right? No. He's around two ten maybe. Right, 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 right. Yeah. But this to the percentage is too low. Well a good hold there for the Australians. They needed that hold. They need this set to take it into a match tiebreak game. Amy McLaughlin's gone down. He's gonna do the post-match presentation when this match and this competition is finished at fast four. I'm joined by Josh Eagle. It's a pleasure, Josh, to see you up here and this is good stuff isn't it yeah Fitzy I'm absolutely loving it after being courtside for the bulk of this uh, event it's great to be up here and, and get just such an overview the crowd simply loving this clash and the Australians have got a real battle on their hands here at the moment <laughs> Rafa they're absolutely loving Rafa courtside you cannot believe just the energy and the excitement that he's brought to the crowd here yeah 
Well, that's the charisma of the man, and uh, gee, he's popular. And uh, the Australians here hanging in in the second set. On fees to serve. Down 2 1. I think it's fair to say, Fitzy, they were a little zero. stiff not to win that first set. They had set points. And Rafa coming up with, and Gail coming up with some incredible passing shots. So for me, if they hang in and win this set, I think they can win the match tiebreak. That's the beauty of the event, isn't it? You're never out of it, and you never know. One off. That'd make a pretty handy Australian Davis Cup pairing. Kyrgios and Hewitt, in my, in my mind. It's not going to happen, though, with Leighton retiring. Well, unless the captain picks himself. I'm sure there's a part of it <laughs> that he actually wouldn't mind it. Oh, on the line, Hewitt. Beautiful uh, direction there with the racket face. So then one, they've got two. a chance now. At one, two, one fee in a little danger. I actually think Leighton would almost re at times prefer returning the right-handed serve as opposed to left-handed Rafa. Unusual, you don't see Leighton uh, try something fancy. It, it might be the Kyrgios influence. It's rubbing off on him, surely. <laughs> a, a shot between his legs, that's so unlike Leighton Hewitt. Well, he's got just such a great slider out Three, wide, Gail Monfils. On that first court, he, he mixes it up with a bit of pace. That one just 161 miles an hour, and just let the the spin slide right out wide in the court. He's handled the double court well, well, hasn't he? And that's a, a let that goes through past Leighton Hewitt, which counts as an ace in this format. It's a fast four ace, that one. So two games, two games all. Look how wide he's serving. That creates the angle. Standing very wide from the tee. stuff from the Australians. When you're trying to put a volley away, it's not that easy because you're playing against probably two One of the quickest zero. men on tour, or certainly up there. We get it, man. Well, an unusual miss there. Uh, they have lost Kyrgios to serve you once already in this match when he served for the first set. I don't think I've seen Leighton miss an easy volley like that. Not in the last decade, you know. You'd probably have to go back a few decades when he was about two. 2-1. Two, Just heavy speed, isn't it? Forward speed from A to B and also the heavy Two dip on that point. That makes it so difficult to volley. Oh. Yeah, it's long. There's a break point here for the world. This is uh, Two, three. a huge moment. Well, they've got to use a power play, surely. Good call. Time's running out here for the Aussies. Power play. So I would have saved it. On Nick Kyrgios huh? would have here. He, he, he's 2-3. It's first to four. So and to you. If they take the power play, which they will, surely. Fully confident in you guys. That will win them the game with one point. Yeah. They'll win two points for the price of one. We'll listen in here to see where he's going to go. I'll just go cannon wide. Okay. Just live and die by that. Right. You know what? Five seconds. All right. Okay. Second serve, what? Well. I can't imagine this would be a three-quarter first serve. I think this will be a cannon. Yeah, I think he he wants to go T. That's his best serve on this side. He's tempted to go the big cannon out wide. He loves he loves an ace. Oh, 
He's missed it. Oh. Huge forehand miss there from Kyrgios. Rafa did well, and the world breaks, and they lead 3 2. Game the world. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> the one leads by three games to two. Oh my god. Ah. Well, not a lot of animation here on the, the Aussie bench. Uh, they're down that they lost that game. They're in big trouble now. Well, they're going to go in here with good energy because the clock is ticking in this unbelievable format. There's not a lot of room for error. Come on, here we go. So it'll be Monfi and Nadal to serve for the match. So they're going to have to throw everything out of here. Sorry, the language. Pardon everybody who's listening. So it'll be Nadal and Monfi to serve this match out chance to claim victory for the world. Thank you, Thank you. So serving here for this rubber, the doubles rubber, and for the outright match here, Rafa Nadal. Okay, not out of Zero it. one. The Australians. I think you'd prefer to face the Nadal serve than the Monfi serve, would you, Josh? You, you probably would. I mean, given that second serve's just 144 kilometres an hour, you're going to get a hit at it, that's for sure. Well, you hope you're going to get a hit, but when you serve, like, as accurately as Nadal does, maybe not. One on. He's so big under pressure, Nadal. He's delivered that many times over his incredible career. Doing the right thing, making a lot of first serves when you're trying to close a set out. Well, I think you have to cover the wide one here if you're late. You're just that little bit more than the one in the middle, don't you? I mean, well, he's, he's just creating so much swing, isn't he? It's just swinging cue it off the court. Well, it's too good. Yeah, it is. And all of a sudden, Three one. all of a sudden, match it's points. match point to the world team here. Of course, the sets are to four. They lead 3-1 and 3-1. Excuse me, they lead 3-2 and they lead 3-1 in points here. Effectively, three match points. Game, set, match, the world. It's all over. Tennis it's been. We're going to go to a quick break and come back with Hamish McLaughlin with a presentation here of the Fast Four in Sydney. What an entertaining night, Josh. This has just been extraordinary. It sure has. It's, uh, it's been such a buzz for this massive crowd. And you have a look at the match stats here. Unbelievable serving there from the world. 77% of first serves in. That's just incredibly impressive serving. Three aces. The unforced error count really favouring the world there. Just six unforced errors as opposed to 13 for the Australian team. And look, they've created a lot of chances. Have a look at the break points. Two from six. And really, I think Fitzy deserved to win that doubles. Yeah, in the end, they were the better team, weren't they, uh, on the doubles court. And uh, my feeling at the start was the Aussies might have the edge, but uh, not to be. I thought Rafa coming off a plane this morning, he, he, might, he might be a little bit uh, jet-lagged, but he was awesome in the doubles. He really was, and I think the, the slow court surface here favoured the roadrunners in Nadal and Monfi. So absolutely playing into their hands and just 
you know, sensational ball striking when when they required. I mean, let's not forget the Australians did have a set point in that first set, so things could have looked a little bit different, but not to be for Australia. No, and uh, this concept of fast four is, it's a winner. Oh, I mean, sure, sure is. Tennis needs innovation. Oh, definitely. It needs to move with the times. So let's have a quick look at the highlights of the night. There's uh, the players arriving for the first singles match, Gail Monfi and Nick Kyrgios from Australia. Two of the most exciting talents on, in the game today. On the planet. Yeah. They love it, these two guys. They love this format. It's tailor-made for Kyrgios and Monfi. They can hit massive shots. This man, he loves to entertain, as does Monfi. And just gives them an opportunity to show their incredible flair and imagination. And speed around the court from Monfi's point of view. He's uh, lightning around the court. I love the... I love the you call your own lines. I, th I thought that really worked well, and I think that's, I think that's a great initiative. And what a reception this man received, Rafa Nadal. Unbelievably popular all around the world, and particularly here in Sydney, where they really haven't had much of an opportunity to see Rafa in any shape or form compete. So he was obviously a little bit jet lagged at the start, but boy. Hit some incredible passing shots and just take a look at the brute power from the... Well, they call him the bull, Rafa. He's the bull. But Leighton's ball striking has been good. And it was an impressive start here for the Aussies. They got up an early break, but in the end, 